Hey there, or welcome back to another video. I'm Kira, and as usual, we're here today playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. As you can see, I'm outside the cave in the south, because I'm about to do a run through with you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This cave is a super easy cave. Oops, and of course the lag, it gets me every time I enter. But anyway, I'm not using a wolf or absolutely anything to do this cave. I just have my chitin armor and my sword. Usually there aren't too many things in here. Oh, but that sound is extremely loud. So hopefully we won't run into too many issues. The only issue I have is getting lost. Oh, and we definitely do not want to go that way. So down here. It's a fairly easy cave. You pretty much just stick to the left all the way down. This cave has probably the most simple cave in Ark, I would say. There doesn't seem to be many creatures in here, so that's a good thing. But then again, you always speak too soon. And there's a spider. Okay, sword time. And let's just smack him to death. Only one. There's only one. Wow, alright, so that was simple, just one. And so now we just want to get down here somehow. There we go, I guess jumping is always easy. And we'll have to figure out how to get back up on the way back. But that's fine, let's just continue for now. Artifact should be just through here, and yep, I was right. Super simple cave, it's extremely fast as well. This is the quickest path to the artifact. Just have to be careful of snakes, and by the looks, there is literally nothing in here. That is so strange, this is so easy today. Normally, there are a few spiders and snakes, and occasionally an Arthropleura. But apparently not, so let's grab this artifact of the hunter. And we're just going to click take all. If it will let us, there we go. And crouch our way back out. And now we have to worry about the cliff thing that we fell down. Or jumped down, I should say. Now, I saw Rhonda just jump up this the other day. I don't know how she did it. But I guess there is a way. Oh, there we go. Just have to get it from the right angle, and it's super easy. Wow, so hardly any tames to kill. Not tames, but wild dinos. And you don't even need any grappling hooks or anything. You just can jump right up that. Wow, I'm, this is so easy, like, wow, just wow. <laughs> and then just go the way you came up, or came down I should say, pretty simple. Since you stick to the left when you come down, you pretty much stick to the right on the way back up, except for that little part there. And yeah, literally just all the way back up. And here we are, we have our entrance. Nice and simple. And lag on the way out, of course. It let me out. Okay, there we go. So I guess now we're just going to go and tribute this artifact. So I'll just hop on Sanamu. And I will see you guys over there. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are at the green obelisk, ready to tribute this artifact up. 
But first things first, I'm just going to go into my inventory and activate the pursuit for this artifact. And that is the artifact of the hunter one. So we're just going to activate that. And then let's tribute. Okay, so just click on that and then tribute. I bet we won't get anything good. This cave doesn't really give much good stuff, or at least from my experience. And there we go. Of course, we got some hide and a fishing rod. How stink. That is quite awful. Ooh. And they're not even that good. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, but nothing much we can do about that. We can always run the cave again. It's super simple. I hope you guys have fun running your own caves. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a huge comment down below and give this video a nice big like. I'm Kira and of course you've been watching Kira Games.